I was born in the 60s, back when Winter Haven was small and quaint, and I can remember the day we used to swim in lakes and we all walked to school, and the city has changed a lot since I was grown up here. We have a lot more traffic, we have a lot more road, we have a lot more construction, we have a lot more people. What that brings challenges, but also opportunities. And I've been mayor for six terms now, so we need to give back and we need to participate and try to make our community better. And for me, growing up in, in Winter Haven, uh, I grew up during a period of segregation. We swam in the lakes, but I couldn't swim in the same lake that he swam in. So it was different. But I've been blessed to be uh, on this commission for over 20 plus years. And through it all that has evolved in this city is one that I'm proud to call my home. And it's just a great place to live. So over the past 10 years, the city of Winter Haven has seen an interesting broadening of economic development. We've seen nearly a thousand new hotel rooms get built. We've seen a transition to investment in the downtown core with residential, retail, restaurants, and more hospitality. Some IT developments occurred. And now we're even seeing broadening of, of that theme into industrial where we have 1,500 acre industrial park that's one of the most fully entitled industrial parks in the state of Florida. So we can accommodate properties or projects of up to two to two and a half million square feet. Beyond that though, East Cypress Gardens Boulevard is one of the high growth areas of the community in different uses for our local economy. Hospitality, healthcare, residential, retail, a good variety of different uses that will be coming along on the boulevard. So as much growth as we've seen over the last 10 years, we expect to see significant amounts over the next five to seven. Bruce Lyon and the Winter Haven Economic Development Council, as well as many other partners that we work with, we all strategize together, making sure that the economic development that occurs doesn't take us away from who we are as a small town, small city here in Florida. It's a place that we say everybody knows everybody, you know your neighbors, you know the customers coming into the businesses. Um, so we never want to get rid of that local feel. The exceptional piece is that all the services we provide, the facilities, everything we do in the city is on a world-class level. We serve residents, we serve businesses, we serve companies from outside the region that want to invest in, in new economic development initiatives here. We have a tremendous tourism base with Legoland Florida. So that's really the number one priority for us is how do we continually maintain exceptional services? Winter Haven is, is a very pro-business, but also very pro-community, which is what really helped uh, Legoland to flourish. We chose this location because of how beautiful the settings and the surroundings are. The partnership that we have with the city is, is, is very strong. Uh, we have Legoland days that the city has declared on October 15th. It shows you the great partnership and, and community relationship that we've built. We also partner with, with uh, education. So Polk State College has a uh, building higher uh, scholarship program that we prepay and allow our employees to participate in and get reimbursement. So whatever we can do to nurture the community uh, from an education standpoint and just being a part of all of our celebrations um, is what we like to do. Downtown Winter Haven has gone from a sleepy downtown to a bustling and vibrant um, community. But there's not a weekend that goes by that you are not able to come downtown. And there is a, an event in the park. Either there's a run, there's something for everyone. In addition to that, I think that Winter Haven just becoming a trail town, what that will do is bring people from lots of walks of life right to the core and our city staff worked really hard to bring in a Main Street program for revitalization for historic districts. That was done in 1995. So I think it is a combination of good partnerships, strategic planning, but mostly everyone working together, I think has had such an incredible impact. It is so exciting to see all of the, the events happening. And I had the pleasure of working in the Advent Health Field House. Historically, it was our Southwest complex. Um, and in 2018, 2019, the vision came to make it a field house where we could have larger events. They have anything from cornhole to basketball, to robotics, to career fairs. 
Um, the theater's been home here for since the 1970s. Um, so really making it a cultural and athletic spot for, for Winter Haven. My experience with engaging and collaborating with the city staff has been tremendous. I've had an opportunity to sit on a number of different committees to help plan special events for the city. I've been asked to participate on different work groups that bring diversity and light to the city of Winter Haven. And you don't see that in larger cities. You don't have an opportunity to go and say, I wanna have my voice heard on different changes and different things that's going on within the schools or within local government or within law enforcement. And so being able to have a voice within the area that you live in is something that's super important to me and my family. And I want this to be a very inclusive city. I want everybody to feel welcome when they come here. I appreciate serving with the people that we do and we continue to try to move forward. I can say beyond a shadow of a doubt, this is the city of all cities in Polk County in Florida. It's a destination that people are moving to here in droves because they know that we have something special here in the city of Winter Haven.